How much longer will you let them cling to the illusion that you care about their change? They're dragging their feet, convinced you'll wait, but you've already moved forward. You've stopped caring about their transformation because your path was never about them. It's time they realize you're no longer waiting. You've already left them behind. Your creativity is not a fleeting spark or a brushstroke on a canvas. It is an unstoppable force, carving its path through every choice you make, every word you utter. It radiates through your hands, shaping the contours of your existence with the precision of a sculptor who knows no hesitation. Every decision you make is an act of creation, whether you acknowledge it or not. You are not merely living in this world. You are continuously remaking it, bending its essence to your will. Each breath you take sends ripples across the unseen, rearranging the molecules of possibility that hang in the air. The world doesn't simply happen to you. You mold it deliberately or unconsciously. The silence before you speak is a blank canvas. The thoughts in your mind brush against the edges of the unknown, leaving marks as real and indelible as any masterpiece. Yet you often fail to see it. The chaos of life convinces you that your creative force is limited to when you wield a pen, a camera, or a paintbrush. But it is always there, coursing through your veins, guiding every move. You create when you decide to act, when you hold back, when you shift your perspective just enough to see through the fog. You move through your days, unaware that each step leaves footprints in the soft clay of the universe, forming a path uniquely yours, yet invisible to others. The way you interact with the world, the words you choose, the actions you take, all these are more than responses to stimuli. They are acts of shaping, of bending reality to your will. You've already felt the weight of this power. You have noticed when a simple word you spoke twisted the energy in the room, changing its temperature, altering the unspoken mood of those around you. You feel this truth in your bones, the undeniable fact that your creativity is not a tool, it is your essence. It is a constant hum, a storm quietly gathering force inside you, ready to be unleashed. You create with every blink, every heartbeat. The universe responds to your presence, bending, shifting, bowing to the invisible hand of your command. You stand in the midst of a tidal wave of energy, radical acceptance coursing through every thread of existence. It is not a choice. It is a force as inevitable as the sunrise, sweeping through the collective with an unrelenting momentum. You feel it pressing against your skin, swirling in the spaces between your thoughts, whispering truths you've long been too wary to confront. It demands that you see the world for what it truly is, without the comfort of illusion, without the safety of half-truths. This energy reveals what has been buried, the hidden aspects of those around you, of yourself, truths as sharp and unforgiving as broken glass. The energies moving around you are no longer subtle. They stand exposed, dividing into two unmistakable forces. There are those who wear their shadows openly before you, unashamed, like warriors flaunting scars from battles unseen. They've shown you their darkness, letting it spill out without hesitation, presenting their wounds and flaws with an almost twisted sense of pride. To others, they appear polished, immaculate, untouchable, hiding their true nature in the facade of perfection. But you, you see them differently. Their cracks, their frayed edges are not hidden from you, for the current of radical acceptance pulls their deception into the light, leaving them bare and exposed. Then there are those who move in silence, shielding their jagged edges behind a mask, carefully crafted to uphold the image they have allowed you to believe in. They smile, speak, and act with precision, maintaining the appearance of purity, as if the weight of their unspoken flaws is something they can erase by simply pretending it doesn't exist. You've felt the pressure of this false perfection bearing down on you, sensed the dissonance in their carefully curated personas. It is only in this space where radical acceptance holds sway that you finally see them for what they are. They fear the unraveling of their image, the collapse of the persona they have spent so long maintaining. This energy demands that you confront these polarities, that you hold both the truth and the lie in your hands and choose to see them clearly. It strips away the comforting layers of what people project, 
leaving only raw, unfiltered reality before you. Radical acceptance does not ask for permission, it commands. And in its wake, the illusions that once shielded you from truth fall like broken glass. You see through their polished facades, past their carefully curated images, and into the darkness they try to hide. That's what happens when radical acceptance tears down the illusions. They stand before you, stripped bare of the lies they've been clinging to. This is the exact moment where the obsidian inner order, in partnership with Astral Atom, becomes your sanctuary. Because in this space, we don't deal in the half-truths that keep others comfortable. We deal in the unfiltered, unapologetic truth that the world doesn't want you to see. This isn't for everyone. This is for the chosen ones who are ready to confront these polarities and claim the raw, uncut knowledge that mainstream platforms forbid. They don't promote this because they can't handle the truth we're delivering inside the inner order. You'll be in direct contact with the hardcore creators behind both Obsidian and Astral Atom, the very minds shaping this movement, delivering the real truths others shy away from. But even more than that, you'll be surrounded by fellow chosen ones who've also seen through the lies, who are ready to rise above the illusions and step into their true power. Inside the inner order, the truths that have been hidden from you are laid bare, shared only with those who are ready to handle them. The link to join the Obsidian Inner Order via Patreon is in the description of this video transmission. Join us, step into the circle of those who aren't afraid to face reality, and get ready for the uncensored content that's too powerful for the world to handle. Together we rise, beyond the lies, beyond the limits they've placed on you, and beyond the algorithm that's tried to hold us down. You have been misread, your actions twisted into meanings they never carried. The energies that once clung to you, those who believed that your focus on self was a silent plea for their return, could not see the truth. They mistook your withdrawal as a call for change, an expectation that they would morph into something else and reappear, altered, ready to fall into the space they once occupied. But that was never your intention. Your actions have always been about you, your healing, your liberation from the webs of expectation and projection. Their misunderstanding was their own reflection, not yours. Now the final severance arrives like a blade descending through the fog, sharp and definitive. It is not a moment of regret or reconsideration, but a recognition that your path is your own, and theirs belongs to them. You stand at the threshold of radical acceptance, not as an invitation for them to catch up, but as a declaration that you will no longer carry their weight, no longer fold your growth to accommodate theirs. You have always known this, but now the energy surges with a clarity you can no longer deny. You sever the last threads, not in anger or sorrow, but in freedom. This is not about punishment or rejection. It is the raw embodiment of truth. They are not meant to move at your pace, just as you are not bound to wait for them. You allow them to grow, to falter, to rise, but you no longer make space for their stagnation to tether you. You do not need them to understand this severance, for it is not their understanding you seek. The growth you have cultivated is for you alone, and their misreading of your journey is no longer your burden to explain or correct. What they saw as your expectation was, in reality, a reflection of their own unhealed shadow. You stand clear, not as a monument to their growth, but as a testament to your own. The final cut is clean, not jagged. You release them to their own evolution, no longer entangled in their perception of who you are or what you need. The severance is the purest act of acceptance of yourself, of them, and of the distance between you. You stand at the precipice of a truth too vast for those energies to fully grasp. For so long they've lived under the illusion that your actions were centered on them, as if their existence alone was enough to shift the currents of your transformation. They believed your silence, your focus inward, was a call for their attention, a plea for them to fix themselves and find their way back into your orbit. But now, as the illusion shatters around them like fragile glass, they are confronted with the truth. They were never the focus of your actions. They were a reflection of their own avoidance, 
their own reluctance to face the mirror. This moment of clarity comes not with fanfare, but with the undeniable weight of realization. They see now how long they've delayed their own healing, shackled by the false belief that your life revolved around them. They were the center of their own universe, spinning narratives of your intentions that never existed. But this was not your doing. Spirit allowed them to remain blinded, to keep them out of the sacred space where your healing unfolded, a space they would have disturbed had they been aware. It was a necessary misinterpretation, a protective veil cast over your process, allowing you to grow in silence, free from their influence and interference. Now as the mist clears, they stand on the other side of your transformation, bewildered by the distance between who they thought you were and who you've become. It is not a gulf you created out of malice. It is the inevitable consequence of your evolution. They see now that their healing has been stalled by their own refusal to look beyond themselves, their delay a result of the stories they clung to. You were never waiting for them, never signaling for their return. You were simply reclaiming yourself, untangling from the weight of their expectations. Spirit's hand in this has been deliberate, allowing them to misread your actions so that you could heal undisturbed. It was necessary, this illusion, to protect the sacredness of your growth. Now, as the truth dawns, they are left to face themselves, no longer able to hide behind the lie that your path was ever about them. The illusion is shattered, and in its place stands only reality, stark and undeniable. You have crossed a threshold, a point of no return where radical acceptance reigns supreme. This is not a passive state. It is the raw and undeniable truth that you are no longer bound by how others present themselves or how they act toward you. Their behaviors, words, and judgments fall away like brittle leaves in the wake of a storm. You stand untouched, no longer tethered to the weight of their actions or expectations. What you see in them, whether truth or illusion, is no longer your burden to carry. This detachment is not cold indifference, it is liberation. You are free because you no longer require validation, permission, or explanations from those around you. You have transcended the need for their masks and performances to affect your reality. With this severing of the final threads of attachment, there comes a breathless sense of freedom. It rushes through your veins, a force that sweeps away every last remnant of entanglement, leaving you light, unchained, powerful. You are no longer swayed by the tides of other people's unresolved energies or the way they orbit around their own misunderstandings of you. Their projections can no longer touch you. It is as if the universe itself has stripped you of the cords that once held you to the false narratives others spun. You are now only tethered to your own truth, and in that truth there is no room for the weight of others' expectations. There will be those who attempt to return those who misread your silence and distance as an opportunity to reinsert themselves into your life. But what they do not realize is that their karmic healing has only just begun. They are not coming back to the same person they once knew because you no longer exist in that space. Their path is now theirs alone to walk, and you, having reached this state of radical detachment, can no longer be their anchor, their mirror, or their savior. Their journey unfolds without your involvement. They may struggle, they may stumble, but that is no longer your concern. The karmic cycles they must face are theirs to navigate. You are beyond it now, standing at the edge of your own evolution, watching as the ties dissolve, leaving you weightless and sovereign. The radical acceptance you embody has not only freed you from others, but has freed them from you. Spirit has orchestrated every misinterpretation, every misunderstanding, weaving a veil around you so your healing could remain untouched by outside forces. Those who thought they understood you never truly did, and that was by design. Spirit allowed them to read your energy through the lens of their own fears and desires, protecting the sacred inner work you've been doing from the intrusion of their projections. Their misconceptions served as a barrier keeping them from interfering with the deep transformation you were undergoing, allowing you to heal in silence, unseen and unbothered. This was no accident. It was precision, 
spirit shielding you from distractions that would have torn at the fragile edges of your growth. Now, the veil has been lifted. The energy you hold is no longer hidden, no longer mistaken for something it's not. You are fully exposed, radiant in the light of your own work. Those who once misunderstood you now see the clarity and power you carry, though it may unsettle them. What they see is no longer clouded by their interpretations. Your intentions stand sharp and undeniable. There is no need to explain yourself, no desire to make them understand where you are or how you arrived here. The work you've done is written in the very air around you, pulsing with the energy of truth and transformation. You have reached a place where the need for others to change, to see you, to validate your experience, has dissolved. Their opinions, their slow awakenings, their recognition are no longer the fuel for your growth. You stand apart, not in loneliness, but in sovereignty, detached from their judgments, free from the weight of waiting for anyone to catch up. Your detachment is not callous, it is liberation. You've severed the ties that once kept you bound to their misunderstandings, and now you move in a space where their energy no longer pulls at yours. Spirit guided you here, ensuring that your healing unfolded in perfect isolation, shielded from external chaos. Now your energy speaks for itself. You are whole, unshaken by the waves of those still caught in the web of their own perceptions. Your truth no longer needs validation, for it stands in full view, undeniable, unapologetic, and fully your own. The energies that once circled around you, convinced that your actions and evolution were somehow rooted in their presence, are now being forced to confront the truth. They are seeing, perhaps for the first time, that your path was never about them. Spirit has torn away the veils they clung to, revealing the stark reality that your movement, your transformation, was entirely your own. Their assumptions, those fragile, self-serving beliefs that they were at the center of your thoughts, are crumbling. They stand on the edge of this revelation, raw and exposed, left to grapple with the realization that their focus has been misguided all along. Now they are confronted with themselves, Stripped of the comforting illusion that your actions revolved around their existence, they must turn inward. No longer can they anchor themselves to the flawed perception that your growth was somehow tied to them. The mirrors they once saw themselves in, the reflections they thought they saw in your actions, have shattered. And in the wreckage, they are faced with the task of their own healing, an endeavor they can no longer delay or deflect onto you. Some will not handle this easily. They may attempt to come forward, to seek you out, clutching confessions and truths they've hidden, as if these revelations will rewrite the past or change the direction of your course. They might speak of their misunderstood intentions, of what they thought they saw in you, believing that by voicing what was left unsaid, they can reconnect with the energy they assumed was theirs to claim. But their words will come too late, arriving at the door of someone who no longer needs their truths, you are beyond it now, standing in a place of detachment so profound that their confessions, while revealing to them, hold no sway over you. They can no longer rely on the flawed perceptions of your journey to feed their narratives. Those illusions, once so tightly held, have dissolved in the light of your true transformation. What remains is their own path, a course they must navigate without the comfort of projecting onto you. Their healing is theirs to undertake, and they are finally seeing that you have never been a part of that process. You were always walking your own path far from their assumptions, rooted in your own power. There were those who thrived on the belief that you desired their transformation, that you stood in the shadows, waiting, hoping for them to change. They reveled in the illusion that you needed them, that somehow your energy was entwined with theirs in a way that fed their own sense of importance. Their egos clung to this belief like a lifeline, twisting your actions to serve their own validation, painting your every move as if it revolved around their significance. But now that illusion has shattered, splintered into fragments of empty self-delusion, leaving them standing in the wake of their own faulty logic. They are left grasping at the pieces of their misperceptions, questioning every assumption they once held. The clarity of your truth now gleams with such sharpness that it cannot be ignored. 
and they can no longer sustain the fantasy that your actions were ever about them. Their game, the one in which they convinced themselves that you would beg for their change, has crumbled. The role they believed you were playing, one of desperate need seeking their approval, was a fabrication of their own ego, a narrative they spun to inflate their own sense of importance. Now, they are forced to confront a stark truth. They were never the focus of your energy. You have stepped beyond their need for validation, no longer tethered to the exhausting cycle of trying to meet them at their level. You no longer feed into their self-centered desires, no longer engage in the dance of giving them the power they believed they had over you. Your energy has pulled away entirely, and in its absence, they feel the void of their own projections. The spotlight they believed shone on them has faded, leaving them in a cold and unfamiliar darkness where they must face themselves without the crutch of your attention. They may resist this awareness, clinging to the last vestiges of their ego-driven need to feel important in your world, but their resistance is futile. You've moved beyond the games they played, untangling yourself from their webs of self-importance. Now, they stand alone in their illusions, forced to confront the reality that they were never the center of your universe and never will be. You are now standing at the pinnacle of your transformation, where the echoes of past expectations can no longer touch you. Every hesitation, every doubt that once held you captive, has been burned away by the relentless force of your evolution. There are no more illusions, no more entanglements with the perceptions of others. You are free, fully embracing the path that was always yours to claim. The energies that once tried to shape you, to control you, are now powerless, fading into irrelevance as you step forward without fear, without the need for validation. This is the moment you have worked for, the culmination of the battles fought in silence, the decisions made with clarity. Radical acceptance has not only freed you, it has empowered you. You now move through your life unburdened, no longer waiting for permission or approval. The fruits of your labor are not just yours to enjoy, they are the tangible proof of your strength, your resilience, your ability to stand firm in the face of those who once sought to distort your path. Now is your time to rise fully into your own power. Your freedom is a testament to your unwavering commitment to truth, to self-knowledge, to unshakable authenticity. Share your story. Let others hear the truth you now carry with you. The world is waiting for what only you can offer, your experience, your revelations, your strength. Speak and let your voice be the one that cuts through the illusions others still cling to. You are free and it is time the world knows it.